<laughs> Why did you make me do this? Okay, you two, we're getting right back into this. I think we don't lost like three guardians. Alright? We don't lost the Asian chick that can multiply. The shrinking girl got swallowed by the monster. Even though she tried to, you know, grow back up inside the monster, he still swallowed her. So Rex is on his knees, and I think he's about to get his brains blowed out. So we're gonna get right back into this. And Invincible and the other team is on a ship battling the squid monsters. So this is so good. We're getting right back into this, y'all. Love y'all. Let's get started. Bug! Hmm. So brave. But is it the brave man who survives? Or is it the one who waits until his opponent is too injured to fight? Is he gonna do it? Just do it, you prick. Guardians! Oh! Rex is gone! Man, we lost Rex. He blew his brains out. You know, I thought something was going to happen. He was going to pull something out of his pocket or something. Almost done. Whatever you are planning, it will fail. You could have been useful servants. We will grant you death instead. There's too many of them! We can't give up! I'm not as strong as you, but I can keep them away for a few minutes. A few minutes is all I need. Shakespeare? Please hurry! Woo! Tell them someone has to get this boss to us and then press the button. Anyone? Please hurry! Someone. Anyone? Give it to me! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it! Don't fail. Cover me! He's bad as hell. Back to normal. Did you? Oh shit! Oh hell no! How they gonna stop Eve? That's a big maybe. Oh, they finna have some problems. Y'all got some real problems. to be me again. Yes, hooray! 10 out of 10. Damn, that didn't last long. I thought they had some problems. Shit! We'll explain later. Agree to 
to my demand. Damn, Rex. I was just starting to like him. Half of the nation. Well, look at this brave little soldier. He's still alive! Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would expect. Oh my, how sad. Oh, I said, shut up! Get him! He hit him with no! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Oh my god! That's a weird question. Never better? Yeah. You know me! Oh shit! Oh, she made it! You saved us from the sequids, and for that we are grateful. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, look, we gotta go. But we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. You must remain here for punishment. What kind of punishment? Death. Damn. I understand. <laughs> they got the hell out of here. I thought he was gonna scare him away. Oh, they they're not dead. They made it. They're aliens. You okay? You seem a little shook. It was unpleasant. No shit. That whole thing was insane. Thankfully, I was able to control my fear response this time. I changed myself. Fixed the problem. I can do the same for you. Don't. But it just makes sense I to- I said don't. Let's be honest. That's not the only reason you're here. The GDA has an entire department dedicated to superhero children. Right. Because a top secret government lab is the perfect place to raise a child. <laughs> we paint clouds on the ceiling. Look. After everything Nolan put you through, no one expects you to raise this kid. Let us help. Mama! Oh, Mama! Sweetie. Your you mom say mama? is far, far away. And your dad, this isn't about Nolan or me. It's about Mark. This child is Mark's brother. His only brother, which makes him family to me, too. Debbie. And let me remind you that I raised Mark, who just saved the world. Again, I'm more than qualified to do this. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. All right, you win. She a hell of a woman. But we're here if you need us, and I expect to be kept in the loop. Is that Rex? Let me guess, they're gonna make him into a cyborg, like, like, um, Bobby. Mark. Oliver. Bra bra. Bra bra. What's up, bra? You named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name besides Nolan's alien baby. I like it. That's how the kids talk these days. Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior. Though her powers came from a family curse, her unwavering belief that this world is good, even when it killed her over and over and over again. And over Kate and over and over and over that. and over. And encourage me to do the same. Keita was a kindred soul. Man, he really cared about her. It was a it was a beautiful service. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Love, man, love. You loved her, man. Love. How's your mom? Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you go. Please. Um, 
So, classes are going okay? I mean, I'm at the point where I just roll out of bed and go to lectures in my pajamas. It's very freeing. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's your new brother? Is he adjusting? Is your mom losing her mind yet? Uh, Oliver's doing great, and they really get along, which is awesome. My mom's still getting used to chewing his food for him, though. We're hoping his vilture might half will kick in soon. Oh. Are they strangers? Why are they acting all okay, stiff? Hey, can I just say this feels like a first date? Yeah, a bad first date. We hang out less than we did before we went to college. Whenever my friends here ask where you are, I'm always like, He's oh, a superhero. Or for an exam, or he went home for the weekend. I hate lying to them, Mark. And I have no one to talk to he's about it. He's a superhero. I mean, sure, there's William, but he's more your friend than mine. Y'all gonna have to deal with it. Figure it out. Dono! Look who's back! Whoa, Rick. Rick! How are you feeling? Hi, Mark. Um, I, I guess I'm fine. He's doing great. Doctors gave him a clean bill of health. Donald says he can come back to Upstate, right? I'm here to help facilitate his transition. If there's anything I can do, just call me. That is so kind. Thank you. It's like nothing happened. Yeah. Something did happen. Donald, are you... Donald, okay? calm down. Calm down, Donald. Tell William I'll check in later to see how Rick's doing. Uh, okay. Bye. Yo, something gonna happen to Donald. You know, when that bullet went through my head, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah, that's always sounded like bullshit to me too, but it's not. And I didn't like what I saw. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve too, to every woman I've ever dated. None of them deserved it. I don't know why Tail. I had to get my brains blown out to see that. Tail. What is it about being a superhero? Rex is a trip. We go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time. All right, let's hear it. Hear what? <laughs> uh, the reason your face looks all like that. Uh, I don't know. You know, sad and shit. <laughs> Hey, I haven't seen you since Kate's funeral. Are you okay, Mark? Yeah. No, um, I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, I, I I gotta run, so I'll, I'll see you around. I just ran into Mark. And Ugh, I know, right? He and Amber are... <clears throat> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Ten best bedroom makeovers? <laughs> yes, please. Children are my life. Your resume is very impressive. Yes. But I don't think you're the right fit for us. No. No. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. Spy? <laughs> I don't understand. Caesar is a beast. I cannot take a hint. Caesar's a beast. Hi. I'm April Housem here for the nanny position. You don't send another one. Let me begin. You should know that Cecil sent me. I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer. Especially one looking for someone to take care of their child. I work for you, Miss Grayson. Not Cecil. Period. Oh, You're you work boss, for Cecil. Not him. He set all this up. Mama boss. <laughs> Mama boss. See? Oliver knows who's in charge. Cecil. Mama boss. Cecil. Real nice place you made here, Eve. Cecil. Speak of the devil. Reminds me of where I grew up. I wanted to thank you personally for helping out with the whole secret business. And to once again offer you a spot on the Guardians. Cecil. Duplicate's dead. Ray and Rex are in the hospital and immortal is... Oh, let's be frank, his head is not in the game right now. So what do you say? Ready to join the team? You're old friends with half of them anyway. <sighs> Cecil, uh, you know, Say yes. I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be, and that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. 
but you know how to find me if you need my help again. Thanks for your time, Eve. I'll leave you to your guest now. What guest? Eve? You up there? Damn. Amber? Hey, Art. Mark! Sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Just leave your suit and I'll have it fixed by morning. I, I actually came to talk, but if you're busy, I can... What's on your mind? Girl trouble. That obvious, huh? It's all over your face, kid. Pull up a chair. The problem is, I'm... Invincible. Whether it's a tsunami or some psycho with rocket launchers for arms, when bad things happen, Mark has to drop everything and go. Yeah, everything. Including you. I can't talk to anyone about it. Not my friends, not my family. So now I'm the liar instead of him. I knew dating Mark would be difficult. I just didn't know it would be so lonely. I feel like, like I'm failing, failing now. Mark. Damn! You're not saving the world right now. And Mark's back on Earth, so I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, why, why are, you are you here talking to me when you should be talking, talking to him? Her. Exactly! Go home, Mark. Go home and be with your girlfriend. Hey, your mom told me what happened with your dad on Thraxer. It had to be tough. Seeing him again. Even after everything he did, I didn't realize how much I missed him. I don't know. Maybe that makes me a bad person or something. It makes you human. And then the last thing he told me before the Viltrumites took him away wasn't, I love you, or I'm sorry. It was, read my books. <laughs> Why did he say that? I don't know. My mom threw out all his stuff when I was away. I got his travel books from the library, but nothing popped out. No one wrote more than just travel books. What? He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. None of them sold great, so he gave it up. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? <laughs> a big spender? Your dad was not. Hate tribes on the planet wreck? I told Nolan they were great. Real exciting. Uh, I never read them. <laughs> I don't remember this. It, uh, commemorates D.A. Sinclair's, uh, victims. Am I me again, William? What? Of course you're you. D.A. Sinclair took so much of me away. I don't think they found it all. Who am I if I can't even remember what I'm missing? Little was known about the Space Rider. He was a mystery, the stuff of legends. Stories about him stretched across the 12 galaxies, but in all of them, one detail remained constant. The Infinity Ray. It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. But it required a steady hand. No one has ever gotten close enough to study the Infinity Ray for themselves. If the Infinity Ray is indeed real, and as powerful as the stories claim, it poses a huge threat to our mission. Savage planet, savage beasts. Our mission was simple. To investigate this harsh planet and report back to Space Command Headquarters. The first thing we noticed was its gravity. The planet was so dense and its pull so strong, we could barely move. But the planet had other plans. Oh! Shit! Right now. Hey yo! I've done creatures ten times their size. But because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. I had grossly underestimated these creatures, and I feared this place would be my grave. Wait. What happened? Wait. What happened? What are you talking about? You, and a long overdue vacation on the house. No. 
I wasn't asking. How dare you? Sykes concerned, so am I. Kate's death was difficult for everyone. But I need you. I said I'm fine! What? Send it here. What is that? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. How many men? Immortal, wait. Immortal! Fuck. Donald. Alan! Ugh, where did Invincible say he lived again? Crap, this is gonna be tricky. Yo, man, he on our side! It's not a big deal. Get out of my head! Hey, look, I am not here to fight. I'm just looking for Invincible. Invincible? Omni-Man sent you! I'll kill you! We just met! Invincible? What the hell is going on? He doesn't believe me. Did Alan attack you or threaten you? Oh, good question. Mark wants to know if I attacked you or threatened you, which I totally didn't because you just charged up here and attacked me. Not very heroic of you, Earth superhero of Earth. I... I thought you were someone else. Now that guy's problem. His girlfriend just died. Well, now I feel like a giant douchebag. You do have them, right? I can keep making that reference. You know, I would love to hear a conversation between Alan and Rex. Can you imagine them two? Oh, we should be good now. You know, on my planet, a sock on the door means somebody's fucking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my man. God! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Why are you here exactly? Oh, yes, right, of course. <clears throat> On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Grab your stuff, Mark. We got a boogie. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of course. But... Amber and I are in a weird place, and now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. Are we gonna have to fight now? Nah, I don't fight friends, because I would win, and I feel terrible, <laughs> it's vicious. But I should get going. Thetis will not be happy with me. Maybe I can help with that. Oh, the book! I have a hunch about something, but I need a second opinion. Huh. This place sounds kind of familiar. Hey, is that Space Racer? Well, it's Space Rider in the book. It's Space Racer in real life, and he is legendary in that no one is sure if he's real or not. Okay, so I think everything in these books is real. And it's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. That's why my dad wanted me to read his books. He's telling us how to defeat the Empire. Oh, shit. Can I, uh, can I scan these to take back to the Coalition? Of course. Thetis will be a lot less pissed when I show him all of this. All right, got it. It was good seeing you again, Mark. Thank you. And I'm very sorry about your father's impending or already completed execution. Uh, thanks. Damn, I Alan! I don't get why they took him away when they could have just killed him on Thraxa. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. Want me to ask around? I'd appreciate that. When you need someone for the actual fight, I'll be there. Count on it. Yo, I rock with Alan. In order for a Viltrumite to be executed, he must be healed with our Damn! Even if his crime was devoid of it, yet for even such a craven betrayal, there is a path to redemption. Army man. Rejoin your people, no. He looks better. Let this not be your legacy. You conquered hundreds of planets, brought glory to the Empire. You were one of our greatest warriors. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Well, I thought you were going to say bitch. Answer me!
damn. That planet and its people are damn. toxic if they could do this to you. They too will pay. That's the Martian, right? What the shit? Oh my god! Oh no, it's over! I thought they couldn't take over the Martian's body! Let me help you with the jacket. An excellent fit, if I do say so myself. Full aren't man. May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? Oh, guys, the brain man. I'm visiting an old friend. The Walking Dead. Ah, uh, it is good to be home. <laughs> Hey, great episode, man. Great episode. These last two episodes have been fire. Um, the Brain Man is back. And when he was walking, I could have swore he walked through some zombies like The Walking Dead. Was that like a nod to The Walking Dead? There had to be a nod. Did anybody else catch that? I'm not the only one that caught that. It was like a bunch of zombies walking around. And you know, this is Robert Kirkman's baby right here. All right? This is all Robert Kirkman's. So he walked through The Walking Dead. All right? So now Mark gave Alan the book on how to stop the Vitramites, all right? It was something in that book that, and they didn't show all what happened when the Omni-Man was fighting those monsters on that planet. So I hope that next episode that would be revealed. And Amber and Mark is on bad terms, like him being a superhero and then she being normal and she can't be, you know, in her college life. You know, she can't mingle and all this other stuff like a normal teenager. So I don't think they're going to be together long. You know, I think Adam, Eve, and Mark should have been together. Really. All right. Um, Mark's mother has taken a liking to, what was his name? Ovaler? Ovaler? The, the purple boy. The fly boy. What was his name? Ovaler? Something. I forgot. But anyway, she's taking a liking. And those two nannies were sent by the Crypt Keep. All right, Caesar. He sent both of them. All right. Like the first nanny was like a dud. She was a straight dud. And the second one got hip on game that quick. Oh, yeah. Caesar sent me. I'm just going to go ahead and be straight up. He sent me. Okay. But I work for you. You're the boss. Not him. You know, Caesar was so smart. So smart. And speaking of Caesar, Bobby is just being like holding it back. Holding it back. Like, Donald is going to flip out. All right? And Rick. So Rick and Donald are both like holding stuff back. Like, well, Rick haven't found out yet. So Rick is going to find out sooner or later. All right, so Donald know, and I think Donald, Rick, um, who else? Um, Rex, uh, Adam, Eve. I think all of them going to be the new Guardians. All of them, because Donald is Super Donald now. He's not like Bobby from King of the Hill no more. He's like Super Bobby. So I think he's going to be all... All of them is going to be all on the new team of the Guardians. Okay, that's what I think. Now, I don't understand how in the hell did I miss something? I thought the little squid things couldn't get a hold of the aliens, the Martians. I thought their skin couldn't, unless I'm missing something. All right? I don't know. Anyway, y'all, good episode. I want to know if Omni-Man is paralyzed. Can he walk? I don't know. Um, can't wait till the next episode, y'all. Love y'all. See y'all on the next episode.
Why did you make me do this? Why did you make me do this? <laughs>